Hi everyone, I'm Rashid from ASPT. I'm on the Rajkir video of Vishwabhustuhchi Pearson and recent update. That is, describe image and read a lecture. Are you worried? I mean, it's quite simple to feel worried. It is supposed to be a bit worrisome thing because I'm going to describe image and read a lecture and practice and practice and practice. All of a sudden, we are jumping into totally unknown territory. But it is not totally unknown. To some extent, it is known. We used to teach like that back in back up until uh, 2018. After that, all these shortcuts came in and um, students started to learn these things. Now, in this video, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to change the Pearson according to them. Number one. Number two, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to do the same thing. We are going to do the same thing. Number three, we are going to discuss the template follow kora possible. Ki na. Jodi possible hai, ta hala ki bhaba follow kora. Right, uh, without further ado, let's move on and uh, see what Pearson changes are being introduced from 4th so of November. So let's take a look at what Pearson has brought up first. First of all, just so you know, um, Pearson is enhancing its scoring uh, mechanism. Huh? So we are improving the scoring process of two question types. Uh, there is everything you need to know, including answers to frequently asked questions. So first and foremost, uh, they are in, in, improving two question types. Ekta um, hoche describe image, jeta uh, mother is speaking modular third question type, and then written lecture, jeta mother is speaking modular uh, fourth question type. Uh, describe image score amra jani jay shudhu matra mother reading section impact kore, whereas written lecture score amader reading abong uh, listening both section e. Improve kore. So what are the changes? Changes which human experts will now double check your automated score. So definitely what will happen J after we take test, um, we'll get an score, get a score from the AI and human expert then will check uh, the score. Which part of the score they will check? So basically, amra jani J donuta question type inta scoring by marking criteria content. Patch mark, fluency, patch mark, even pronunciation, patch mark. Uh, fluency and pronunciation will remain as they are. They will be checked by uh, the system. Content will also be checked by the system, but will be reviewed by the human. So, um, why this change according to Pearson? J uh, accuracy barano jono test reliability barano jono, which makes sense because amra already jani je bivino dhorna template bivino organization theke provide kora hoteche bivino YouTube channel lo khuje pao jacche and there's something like that j template gulo te kono content i thak chena question er kono answer hoteche na just simply I'm uh, using some made up words or sentences hence Pearson a major niche so basically what will happen j action test taker will take the test and will be scored by AI and re-evaluated by human for the content part. Um, it's very important to understand the content which is a subjective question is the important part. Jodi content answer to amra nakori, eventually what will happen je amra amadar score lose score for fluency and pronunciation. Ebong it appears clearly bolache that we will see that in a moment. J Karo describe image by written lecture content to the zero ashe, it will be a direct zero for fluency and pronunciation as well. Let's look at some of the FAQs. Uh, Pearson Jetamadar Bolche, J Etamadar test uh, format a change and begin na. It's still the same two hours test, uh, 20 question types, um, four modules, and this and that. Uh, what information can the human uh, expert see? The human expert doesn't know anything who wrote the response, uh, they can't see your picture or your details. So, after no personal details, human expert dictate, but the only thing that they will see is your answer. Um, accenter, bepato, ekhane ajbena, kenna, fluency and pronunciation will again be evaluated by the system or AI. Um, PT, typically, dui dinar muthi chola ajbe, oi lengtho barchana, ar arikta bepar jeta, J. Pearson academic er khetre, Academic, academic UK VIR khetre change ta, PT core khetre kono change ash chena. Um, next, J Bapata sheta hoche, is this change being applied to other questions? No. So basically that answers to one of the questions, J, what will happen to the other templates like on a case, um, asset khetre kichu template bebohar kore, on a case summarizes spoken text khetre kichu template bebohar kore, but they will, these changes will not impact them. 
So basically, a change glue very specifically only for our describe image and retail lecture. Uh, how does the double scoring method work? So Jabulche, all questions are AI scored, and currently humans only review any exceptions or anomalies that the AI cannot confidently score. The double scoring method will apply to only two question types and means that a human expert will always check. Now, I have a YouTube video that I have claimed that the human expert will check the anomaly. If you read it uh, correctly, uh, Pearson Jetta said that the anomaly is not the anomaly, but the problem is the AI score. So, the human expert will intervene. But, if you look at the protect describe image and written lecture, Obushoi, obushoi, human expert that I check kora hobe uh, before the final score is confirmed. So basically, I'm gonna human score dibe. Jeta hobe AI actor score dibe, then human content a check korbe. And they do the necessary adjustments if needed. Jodi ta, um, jodi human AI shat agree kore, ta halo OS score ta confirmed. So they will only check content. Remember, content is the key. Akhon um, amra dekbo je describe image and written lecture exactly ki ki dharoner. Expectation Pearson থেকে আছে এবং ওই অনুযায়ী আমরা কিভাবে অ্যানসার করলে উই অ্যাকচুয়ালি ক্যান ডু ওয়েল ইন आवर পিটি টেস্ট লেটস জাম্প ইন আওয়ার পিয়ারসন আমাদেরকে কি বলছে রাইট সো উই উইল ট্রাই টু টেক সাম নোটস অফ হোয়াট পিয়ারসন হ্যাজ অলরেডি ইনফর্মড আস ফার্স্ট এন্ড ফরমোস্ট আমরা যদি পিয়ারসন আর ডেসক্রাইব এ মেজার যে গাইডলাইন আছে তা দেখি উই ক্যান সি যে আমরা একটা ইমেজ দেখব এজ ইউজুয়াল ইমেজটা হবে মোস্টলি আ গ্রাফ table or pie chart uh, jeta age che ekটু different bhabe pearson bolche pearson age bolto je it can be an image and any sort of image and all those things ekhon bolche graph table or pie chart as usual you will have 25 seconds to study the image and 40 seconds to speak uh, you will need to describe the image right that's the main point here right um, they have given us an example in mohte practice image the reading habit in the city of winston by average hours per week amra ei image ta um, ignore korbo amra porer image ta niye ekta study korbo so basically pearson jeta bolche uh, take a look at here uh, the thing that said important note so what pearson is telling us that your response should always be an original response created on the test day you, it should use your own words and only refer to information that is directly relevant to the image tar mane emon kichu amader bolte hobe jeta amra oi dini um create korechi that is amra uh, image ta dekhar pore it came to our mind and also je ar ekta factor ekhane kaaj korche seta hocche je um, it needs to be relevant uh, previously we have seen je bibhinno dhoroner template amra peyechi je khane um, unnecessary wording like you know it's a beautiful picture i can i need to speak to 40 seconds and this and that this should not be the case right uh, they have given a sample response here we will learn what are the takeaways from here so basically pearson bolche je amra dui bhabe answer korte pari ekta answer e amra ek dhoroner answer amra uh, introduction uh, thakbe of course followed by main points other details and conclusion and uh, another option pearson bolche amra jeta korte pari sample response er khetre we can have an introduction um, and key features and of course mo most significant feature and conclusion we'll learn about them in in in, um, in this video as well right so what pearson want us to do number 1 um use your preparation time so definitely uh, during our preparation time we look, need to look at the question uh, we need to analyze uh, the information also amader bujha uchit je kunta sobche significant trend and this and that um, most importantly next part is a huge change pearson bolche je 20 second ba tar kom kotha hole obviously uh, amra beshi details um, amra cover korte parbo na so pearson wants us to speak at least 30 to 40 seconds so uh, it's a significant um, difference than before. Even amra boltam je bish second kotha bollam na pono second na pochi second na tiri second. It doesn't matter as long as we are using the template. But no, uh, we should not speak for twenty seconds or less. We should speak for thirty or more seconds. Uh, you uh, use numbers from the image in your spoken response. Bujaja chhe je akhon Pearson je image gulo present korbe she gulo toh hoyte number based kichu thakbe. But um, definitely there will be certain information that we can actually use in our uh, responses or answers. What Pearson don't want us to do. Amader ki kora uchit na. Number one, Pearson bolche je you know just a just a simple template babohar kore phala. The this image like I just mentioned a few moments ago. 
um, the image is a beautiful graph and shows various information blah 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 we don't do that so uh, job will say Pearson if you use pre memorized content you are likely to get a zero in content so I'm ready to just memorize code to jai content template by Bahar we are supposed to get zero in content our our content to the zero high what will happen jammer baki J Duto marking criteria that is fluency and pronunciation that they will also turn zero and eventually I'm a total score type zero way um, Pearson will say don't try to mention every feature which is quite simple Jay on a kit it's a image to push it to get com data take it to the image as a chicken a bishy data so I'm ready to show cool feature mention code that we cannot finish in 40 seconds that's also important that we finish within given time um, spend too much time describing the levels this used to be done uh, so on a key jeta courage a fluency maintain courage on just level je gula chetara bono na it shows it describes it shows it shows it describes uh, furthermore it describes or you know just level gulo pore jai this is not recommended you don't need to read all the levels or you know even if you do you don't need to spend your whole time just reading the levels um add your own opinion so basically need your opinion that is do not add anything outside of the question. This is um, very interesting. Je summarized written text to either instruction peers and take it there. Obviously, um, a instruction I get to go there actually describe image, but you know what we normally did or on a cool um, I'm ready to code each other on to shit out say, you know, I'm not a pre made uh, template at a conclusion pie. So basically, that is kind of my own opinion. We should not do that anymore um, in PT test. So very important that we follow these do's and don'ts. Next bit, common mistake. Pearson bolche ki dhona common mistake gula amra kore thaki. Ekta hoteche je test taker often mentions only one or two key points when more details are needed. So je kono ekta ba duoto key point to focus kora not very much suggested. Bish second the niche again they are saying je particularly those under twenty seconds. So definitely amra jodi kom kotha bolli amra kom answer korchi. Um, but answer will look at the and and the next bit if we can take a look at here mechanical way the jeta bola it to get a mention column it shows it describes it shows we do not need to do that our right type of a person focus question this is something very much this is the core of any English test or any speaking test J too slow bully I'm now fluency the impact impacted hobby I'm other uh, what will happen if we speak too slow we can't finish on time if we speak too fast so there needs to be there needs to be a balance it also shows us that read aloud can or be important can read aloud a practice practice right so moving on to the next question so take a look at here uh, according to this image so obviously I have this um, you know this main um, what do I what should I say title the title is here um, data label is here also here also here also here so basically rather than you know just say something right don't do that quickly analyze so what is the what does the um, you know title say it says sightings of dolphin and whales in the bay right so and when between 2017 to 2020 um, and in um, another number to the number of sightings right actually I'm quickly the key image that what is the most significant common trend here common trend which a mother whale sighting the normally char bochor or mode team bochor a whale sighting the basic hilo compared to dolphin sighting so at much a bochor a chicken a whale sighting at a dolphin sighting basic hilo shed a chilo 2019 so this can be an indicator to us J and this can go to our conclusion right so we will talk about it we'll you know discuss more details um, so this is if I take a look at the answer the answer to could be excellent answer for content mentions all elements of the image and it also draws a conclusion and looks at the relationship between the data so data will the relationship that say uh, image tar, uh, conclusion draw or a which on a gulo info there which so take a look at the answer so this graph shows us the sightings of dolphins and whales in the bay so my title so in for example 2017 522 whales were seen whereas in 2018 223 53 whales have were seen so basically we are just presenting data um j amra 
2017 এ 522 বার ওয়েল সাইটিং হয়েছে এবং 2018 এ 253 বার ওয়েল সাইটিং হয়েছে সো টেক এ লুক এট হিয়ার যে যেটা বলেছে প্রত্যেকটা ডেটা ডেসক্রাইব করার দরকার আমরা দুইটা ওয়েল সাইটিং নিয়ে কথা বললাম হ্যাঁ এরপর আমরা অবভিয়াসলি হাউএভার ইন 2019 ইট ওয়াজ অপোজিট देयर ওয়ার মোর সাইটিংস অফ ডলফিন সো যেটা বললাম দে হ্যাভ ব্রট দিস ওয়ান ফরওয়ার্ড যে 2019 সালে ডলফিন বেশি দেখা গিয়েছে right and then in 2020 we can see that there were more highlight uh, sightings of whale again so in 2020 the trend again motoi with around 700 whales being seen and only 500 dolphins being seen more whales were sighted and this and that so just uh, so simply something said by pearson answer b again this is this is by following jam intro the chi key point the chi abong significant data the conclusion coach right um, answer C this is deemed as average previous one was also deemed as excellent this is deemed as average um, average uh, poor uh, very poor so basically um, as you can see this is talking about that template this is a very informative and interesting picture it shows blah 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 it shows this um, and decreasing in different levels. So basically, take a look at here. Hey, obviously, on a jagged increase or decrease or check. But what should we have said? Kotha increase or check, kotha decrease or check. These things should have been included in the response. But what it says is, it shows that the data is increasing and decreasing to different level. Completely, amra a topic that ignore kochi. That's where the problem is. I mean, that's what Pearson wants you to wants you to fix. Now let, let's take a look at uh, retail lecture as well. Uh, again, retail lecture is the same as Pearson Bullshit. The response should be, let me get the pen or highlighter. So response should be original response created on that test day. It should use your own word and summarize the lecture using relevant language. Very simple. All right, um, let's go move forward. What Pearson wants us to do take proper note I'll do another video another day about how to take proper note of proper contents right not just you know silly wordings uh, use different signs or punctuations to show up down equal or changes and stuff talk about key points but also characters actions aspects and relationships this is very interesting it is also my Pearson uh, guideline in the written lecture we need to describe the relationships between different parts or characters or um, you know uh, numbers or stuff but obviously with the uh, with the template we used to ignore it but Pearson wants us to talk about it or talk about them um, another thing you speak up to for up to 40 seconds so it doesn't mean that pura choli second kotha bolta but again ideal answer should be more than 30 35 seconds right amra check komboli we cannot really you know um, get most of the content um, they want us to use linking words like so then moreover however therefore which who that to connect the ideas this is very simple this is something we always follow in writing we should follow that in speaking as well now again what we should not do using template uh, silly templates and silly things again the same thing will happen uh, score of uh, zero will come uh, on content and it will turn our total score uh, on fluency and pronunciation being zero and not scored at all. Shudu uh, keyword, so I'm going to shudu note ne keyword. Please don't anymore try, try to take key phrases, try to try to take the key ideas. Uh, try to mention everything in the lecture, don't try to do that. Some lectures are very big and informative, um, you can't complete it. 40 seconds uh, to I mean, try to describe as much as possible, but also keep in mind that we can't do everything. Right? Um, unnecessary filler, this, uh, that is my answer to this question and final conclusion have been mentioned. Like I said, pre-made conclusion. opinion Please don't do that. Uh, they have given an example of a transcript. Um, I'm, I'm going to give the link of these, um, in our trans, um, these PDFs on the, on the video. Go check them out on your own time, uh, but I will share what's the key takeaway take of, um, of their instruction um, in, in, uh, in this video. Right, let's take a look at a couple of different answers uh, or 
to be uh, to be honest um, the possible answers and see how we can still score the highest mark in PT Describe Image and Try these a uh, couple of examples. So before we do, just so you know, uh, according to the guideline, what we should have in each Describe Image answer, right? We need to have an introductory sentence. In the introductory sentence, we it should contain the title, some relevant levels, you know, what are, whatever the levels that we can directly relate to the title, right? Key features, key features should contain some details, detailed information, not all of them, whatever you feel like is the significant detail, right? Uh, and the most significant feature and conclusion, this is where we need to address the trend issue, that own trend ta, shop che significant trend amra ekhane dekhte pacchi, oi to onujay jeta amar answer hoy ebong oi tai amar conclusion e porinoto hobe. Right? Take a look at this question. Ei question e jodi amra analyze kora shuru kori, so basically this is my title, right? So this is title, longest suspension bridge by country. Ebong ei longest suspension bridge ta kisher hisabe? Eta hocche length of the bridge in meters, right? Uh, we can see that length of the bridge in uh, height of the tower in meters. In Japan, Turkey, and USA. So this is the uh, this, these are the levels. So I mean, you the check on our introduction. Ki hote pare introduction hote pare je um, longest suspension bridge by country uh, based on length of bridge in meters and height of towers in meters, right? Obviously, there are more info here. So I'm um, Japan. dekhte pachi je length is about two thousand meter. Our height is above 250 meters, so around. So this is the kind of words that we now need to get used to using. In Turkey, it is 1500 meter length, and um, height is just about 250, so between 200 to 250. Our US is around um, 1250 meters, which is length. Our height would check close to 200 meters. So, I'm ready to um, Obviously, the highest part I'm going to that is Japan, the lowest part I'm going to that is um, USA. Ebong, ekta jenis I'm going to kind of trend er khetre. Jotu tuku height atse, height, uh, sorry, length er bapata, height e shata shoro shori jorito. Jetar length jotu beshi j bridger, shay bridger, height jotu beshi. So, that can be the most significant feature for us, right? Keeping them in mind, our introduction hote pare. This image shows the longest suspension bridge by country um, in terms of length of bridge, that is meters and height of bridge. Next key feature jeta hote pare. The data shows the longest bridge is in Japan at 2,000 meters. So remember, they say the use data is numbers. So I'm using numbers, 2,000 meters, and a height of above 250 meters. So I'm actually correlating this and uh, this. Um, on the other hand, the shortest, so I mean longest bullish, now I'm talking about shortest bridge is in the USA with the length and height of around 1250 and 200 meters respectively. So 1250, 200 meters. So I'm using around to give approximation. Obviously, I can't exactly see whether it is 1250. So I'm using approximation here. Now, a bepatta, it depends on the judge of fluency report, a additional info, tamata shop info their progeny. You know, additional info mention it will depend on my fluency. So I think I can cover it. So I will say the bridge in Turkey is in the middle with a height of close to 250 uh, meters and a length of around uh, 1500 meters. Right. And key feature, so the key takeout from this chart is that the longer bridges has higher towers. So I can definitively say that based on the information provided. Next. Take a look at this uh, image, income of a major European football club. So what is um, a major European football club? It is our title. What uh, source is income? Club, shops and online store, uh, TV and radio sales at the stadium during games. What is our income? What is income? Pounds between 2013 to 2018. Uh, quickly, jodi dekhi, je, shh, jodi 2013, that is the starting point, kori, amar highest revenue chilo club shops and online store. Theke, right? By the time in 2018, amar highest revenue was uh, TV and radio theke, that had a sharp rise. 
and um, in terms of club shop and online store it had a fluctuation but it, it is still grew it is still went up uh, but amra jodi sales at the stadium during game dekhi obviously in 2013 eh, oh, the peak chill around 200 million pound but it actually took a downturn and by the end of 2018 it came down to around 150 million so that can be a key feature for us for our conversion keeping them in mind introduction this chart shows income of a major european football club between 2013 to 2018 in millions of pounds uh, the uh, this income uh, was generated from three sources club shops uh, and online store and we can mention them key feature tv and radio generated its highest income in 2018 the reason i'm taking tv and uh, radio because it has a special feature that it the highest shesh which are amra dikte number 2018 and 400 million and uh, sale at the stadium during game were at peak in 2013 sale at the stadium it a peak at 2013 but it a peak but by 2018 it at a lowest point right most significant feature even though club shops and online store generated highest revenue among the three sources in 2013 kyal kore amra 2013 club source club shops and online revenue te highest chilo but by the end of 2018 uh, it was overtaken by tv and radio so that's my answer in this case now let's take a look at retail lecture um, retail lecture of course in introduction we'll try to include our title and of course we'll try to take uh, relevant try to also uh, talk about our re related information key point gulor moddhe amra chesta korbo je emon kono key point bolte jetar sathe jetar upor base kore lecture ta delivered hoyeche for example jodi amar lecture hoye thake tea ba coffee somporke we will try to mention about the tea or coffee uh, in in the key points now next part is very important that is characters and actions oi key point gulo key point e bami oi conclusion technically ba oi oi key point ami kibhabe reach korechi based on which characters which actions ei relationship gulo amar tule dhorte hobe ar conclusion er khetre oi character gulor modhe internal relationship jodi thake we need to present that so this can be very complicated and we need a lot of practice on that we'll discuss about it of course in in a in a later video in details especially kibhabe note nile we can actually answer this way right take a listen to this particular lecture let's listen to it and take notes i'm, I'm, I'm i've already listened to it and taken notes let's I, i will let all of you do that i want you to take notes remember when taking notes try to use shorthands symbols number one number two always try to grab the grasp the uh, title and number three is try to focus on the names and uh, numbers this will help you pinpoint what are the key points actually and the relationships between them right let's listen to it so this of course is the shard london's tallest building and we might even say london's new symbol it's worth studying not just for the way it blends into the london skyline but because several new engineering techniques were pioneered when it was built one was the so-called top-down construction, which basically means that the foundations were dug and the concrete centre of the building was put up at the same time, at least as far as the 23rd storey. This reduced the construction time by three months. Although this wasn't an entirely new thing, it had certainly never been used for a skyscraper before. Then there was the use of the building's permanent lift shaft during construction, with the lift jumping higher as the building became taller. That was thought to be the best way to transport people and materials up and down, rather than using any outside construction. And I should also mention the spire, which gives the famous shattered glass appearance. Rather than being lifted up in one piece, it was assembled 300 meters in the air at the top of the building. So, uh, lecture ta shunar pore, I mean, during the lecture, these are the notes I took earlier. Je, it's about shard, and I'm going to take the picture of the indicator. That's the tallest or um, increasing kind of indicator. I, I understand my one. So, shard, it's the tallest building in London, and the new symbol. Uh, several new techniques were applied. At the top down uh, construction technique, it a key correct construction period ke three months reduced correct 
and permanent shaft, uh, lift shaft, jeta building a shatter jump kurcha. So building went higher. Um, the lift shaft also went higher. Our jeta bola which is a glass star assembly which is 300 meters on air. And jeta glasser famous shattered glass appearance to uh, building a famous shattered glass appearance to uh, um, amader kache tule dhore chha, right? Keeping them in mind, introduction will be the lecture was about. Um, the shard, um, the tallest building in London and its new symbol. Key points will be its construction is noteworthy not only because of its aesthetics but also because of the implementation of several new engineering techniques. Now take a look at here, Amra bolchi je, key point ki besh kichu new engineering techniques Now I'm trying to relate them, right? Some of the techniques, some of the techniques were used um, used were top down construction technique. I mean, 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 I Conclusions and relations. Conclusion ki korchi another innovative technique of the assembling glass. Amra hoy glasser bhai pata jete ekta innovative puro puri innovative. Amader a building a shobche important factor jodi amra dekhi hoyche aeyong shota jeta bolche shattered glass appearance. Ebang ita kotha ekora hoyche 300 meter uh, on air, which is obviously a very big deal as I can understand and as I believe all of you can understand as well. So this will be my conclusion and relationship. Keeping them in mind, let's move on to the next one and listen to this particular recording. It wasn't until the late 15th century that composers really gave much attention to instrumental music. Before that, vocal music was most common and instruments were really treated just as an accompaniment to singers. Instruments were played really just as a guide for the singer's benefit. It was only in the late 15th century that instruments were seen as having real musical potential of their own. Composers started to produce music for them and to write background parts for songs which didn't just repeat the singer's notes. There were several reasons for this change, one of which has to be the refinements that were made to the instruments themselves. If we look at keyboard instruments, for example, organs had been around since classical times, but by the late 1400s, they had become much more sophisticated. Another reason was the popularity of dancing. Dances were becoming more intricate, a number of new ones became popular, and of course they all needed instrumental music to accompany them. Right, um, I'm going to note the so obviously um, I'm using this kind of symbols, so to me it means before. So before 19th and uh, 15th century, vocal music was the most common, and instruments were just as guides. Uh, 1500s, musical, uh, instrument and musical value started going up uh, several re reasons uh, number one was a new instrument um, were more um, you know arubishi the new instrument gulo chilo aro she instrument gulo aro sophisticated hoa shuru kore chhe ebong shabha shesh amra bolchi popularity of dancing so ki hoye chhe dancing ebong new type of dancing started becoming popular of course dancing er sathe musical instruments er ekta somporko hoye chhe Right, keeping them in mind, um, my introduction will be something like the talk discussed how musical, um, you know, instruments were just used as guides uh, before 15th century and vocal music were the more common point, common type of music. Key point which a value of musical instruments were truly realized only at in late 15th century and prior to that, composers didn't give much attention to instrumental music. Cano Daini and Taraji Ashwale Diya Chhe Cano Huye Chhe Several Reasons Led To This Change Chhe 15th Century Pare Change Hoa Shuruye Chhe Cano Several Reason Ekta Amra Dekhte Paatshi Jhe Sheta Ho Chhe But It Mainly Happened As The Instruments Were Becoming Better Aro Bhalo Instrument Ho Chhe And Another Key Factor Jeta Amra Dekhe Chhi Jhe What Should We Do We Should Use Joiners This Is The Joiner Was The Popular, uh, you know, another key factor was the popularity of dancing. Some research could be therefore dancing were becoming more intricate, including the new one becoming more popular and the all these needed instrumental music. So it's very simple 
অ্যানসার আমরা যেটা করেছি ইন্ট্রোডাকশন খুঁজে বের করেছি টাইটেল সো টাইটেলের সাথে উই ট্রাই টু পুট অন সাম ডেটা দ্যাট উই ক্যান সে লেভেলস কি পয়েন্টে আমরা তুলে ধরার চেষ্টা করেছি যে মোস্ট সিগনিফিকেন্ট ইনফরমেশানটা যেটার উপর যেটার উপর বেস করে আমার অ্যান্সারগুলো হচ্ছে এবং এটার সাথে যে ক্যারেক্টার এবং অ্যাকশন রিলেটেড তা আমি পরের অংশে নিয়ে আসছি এবং সবার শেষে রিলেশনশিপ বিটুইন দিস পয়েন্টস আর বিং সেইড ওর আর বিং গিভেন অ্যান্ড দ্যাটস হাউ মাই অ্যান্সার শুড লুক লাইক ফর রেট লাচ্চা সো আশা করি ভিডিওটি ভালোভাবে দেখলে উই উইল আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হোয়াট পিয়ারসন ইজ লুকিং ফর অবভিয়াসলি ইন দ্য নিয়ার ফিউচার উইল হ্যাভ মোর রিফাইন টেকনিকস মোর বেটার অ্যাপ্রোচেস টু দ্য অ্যান্সার এবং কিছু কিছু ক্ষেত্রে আমরা কীভাবে ব্যাক আপ সেন্টেন্স ব্যবহার করে প্রপারলি অ্যান্সার করতে পারি উইল ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট দ্যাট দ্যাট ইন টাইম বাট অ্যাট দ্য মোমেন্ট যাদের এক্সাম ইজ ভেরি ক্লোজ বাই জাস্ট ইন ইন নেক্সট ফিউ ডেজ ইউ ক্যান ইউজ দিস ভিডিও অ্যান্ড নোটস অ্যাজ আ গাইড অ্যাজ টু হাউ টু অ্যাপ্রোচ দিস কোয়েশ্চেন টাইপ অন দ্যাট নোট দ্যাটস দ্য এন্ড অফ টু ডেজ ভিডিও ইফ ইউ লাইক ইট ইউ নো ইফ ইউ লাভ ইট লাইক শেয়ার এন্ড সাবস্ক্রাইব and um please start practicing proper in proper way start um you know doing your pt preparation in the way you should do rather than looking for shortcuts thank you